It is on this home computer where I developed the life-saving application. 30-year-old bright warrior of Lusaka's Karingaringa compound lives with epilepsy. His experience led him to develop an online application which warns relatives in real time when seizures start. And so I decided to build a mobile application that allowed me to just push a button on the phone and the phone is able to have the first aid instructions laid out on the phone so that even if I'm fitting, the phone is there on the ground making some noise, people are drawn to it, they pick it up, they find the first aid instructions, but in that moment, the phone has already sent an SMS to a loved one who I've set as my emergency contact telling them to say, I've had a seizure and uh, it gives them my exact location. Uh, so if they have to find me, they are able to find me. This graduate from the Copper Belt University has so far won two international awards in the last one year for developing this application. The IBE noticed equally uh, these works that I've been able to do and they gave me the award that they gave me as a, a Golden Light Award uh, winner and the, 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 the trophy flew in from Ireland and it found me here in Zambia. The Minister of Science and Technology has promised to fund him to the tune of 250,000 kwacha so that he can roll out the application. There's a man whose leg was amputated yesterday, the story was online. His leg was amputated because he had a seizure near fire, burnt and, you know. So a lot is happening that an application like this would cause a massive change and in fighting stigma as well, People can learn so much via the application. We have counseling uh, uh, that, uh, that people can access. Buaria is now an advocate for people living with epilepsy. Posharala, ZNBC News in Lusaka. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, leave a comment, 